Hey guys, welcome back to Run Ram Run. Today our hunt is going to be to find the top 3 momo places in Hyderabad. As you all know, it's monsoon season and momos are one hell of a monsoon snack. And they're not just a monsoon snack, but they're famous throughout the world and have different variations and varieties in different regions. So today we'll go in pursuit to find those hidden gem of places to get the best of momos. Yes, these places might be underrated. hard to find but nevertheless these momos are definitely worth a try if you're momo lovers also oh, but how to rate it a solid 8.5 that's good that's pretty good you are what i waited for oh you make me touch the sky when i stop that is amas kitchen it's not amas kitchen by the way it's amas kitchen this place was hard to find uh, this is nowhere near the city i had to travel all the way towards lingampalli uh, it's kind of a remote area currently first and foremost it was very hard to find but i called up the manager who guided me to the perfect exact spot now when i say that it's hard to find i also say that it is a must to find because this is one hell of a hidden gem for all you momo lovers out there if you are a momos lover the first thing that you should do right now is note this place down in your must try list definitely worth it it's a cute calm place with pastel colored walls all around with peppy cutely colored chairs and lot of souvenirs from nepal hung around so it gives you calm and you know that nice vibes i don't know how to explain it but the vibes are really good it's not one or two they have lot of authentic nepalese momos listed in their menu which look really good seeing the description below Okay, so first thing we have right here is called the Sadeko Momo. This is the authentic Nepalese uh, style momos, which is done with um, a very spicy tangy sauce that is unique to that particular region. Uh -huh. uh, we talked to the manager, and he said this particular momo is actually the speciality mm -hmm. of the place. And over here is our regular fried uh, momos and chili momos. This I think you can see anywhere. Um, this is made with uh, onions and capsicums. It's tossed in a spicy sauce. It's pretty classic. Um, now, what's the most interesting on this plate is the one right here in the middle. It's called the jhol momo. I've actually never seen this before, and I'm I'm a bit of a momo lover over here. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's steamed momos that submerged in this very unique. Um, sesame and soybean sauce over here so uh, without further ado let's let's dig in i wish i was a chopsticks person but i'll adjust with a fork for now 
I'm trying their um, restaurant special. What's it called, Sanakshi? Sadeko Momo. <laughs> Sadeko Momo. That's really good, man. The dangly flavor to it is like, wow. I think for this later, I'm gonna order one more of this. What Momo again? <laughs> Sadeko Momo. Right. I'm gonna have more of that. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. <laughs> But I don't even know how to say it, but it's really good man. Mm. Guys, you should definitely try this out. Wow. While I was eating up this Sadeko Momo, I was actually wondering what is so special about it. All I can say in simple words is that it doesn't taste Indo-Chinese at all. It has got its native Nepalese flavor, I would say, which is very unique. And I haven't tried something like this before. And I mean when I say that. Next up is the fried momo. I can't go there with a fork thing. Sad me. Wow. Sorry guys. <laughs> Nothing special, but always this flavor of momos are really good. I think we should have kept these Sadeko momos for last because everything that we are trying now is not matching your standards but this is really good but that spice levels is making us feel rest of the others are kind of bland but no they are not it has got a nice uh, chilli as well as tomato flavour to it which is really good it's juicy but Sadeko rocks <laughs> Pickled, you know? Mm -hmm. Because generally they just like toss it in a sauce like this one. This is actually steamed mm -hmm. and like it's pickled. It's very tangy. Mm -hmm. Should I like it? Oh, I really like it. It's very different. Finally, trying out this thing called Chol Momo. Um, I guess this is a steamed Momo. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Looks like it's already half murdered. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just do in this, Sonachi? It's like already half murdered. It's not my fault, it's your fork's fault. <laughs> Alright, let me add the fork to cut this off because, yeah, that's better. Hmm. No offense. The first flavor that I got, it's like sambar. Right? It's good. I'm not saying it's not good, but I got that sambar feel, the South Indian momo feel. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. The momo itself hasn't got much of a flavor. It's, it's chicken and onions in there, but the sambar is actually giving me a good flavor. All your South Indians, that. So guys, we are at the Himalayan cafe right now. Apparently they serve one of the best momos in Hyderabad. So we have ordered ourselves the Himalayan cafe special momos. Uh, I called up the manager first up uh, to ask him about whether the place is open. The person was very sweet, but he didn't tell me what are the secret ingredients that they use in the momos to make them sound special and taste special. But he didn't tell me that these momos are much juicier and spicier than other momos that are served in their menu days. But the place currently is closed, only the takeaways are open. So you guys have this for takeaway itself right now. And also one more thing that I would want to share with you guys is this place is not just for chicken momos. You have the vegetarian momos as well as pork momos to try out. And what is more interesting is that the price of these momos are just 170 rupees. So let's go pick our momos and try them out in the car. I'm actually pretty excited because this is the first time I'm trying momos out here. So that's what we got in our package. We have chili sauce as well as ginger sauce. The momos are smoking hot and what is the best part is the aroma is extremely inviting. Let's dig in. 
I was so excited to dig in, but I found this. All you smart guys, did you face this problem of getting a spoon with momos? Yes, I can't eat with chopsticks, but I deserve a fork, man. Come on, please, please. Oh, it's not working. I'm pulling the momo out like this. Man, he was damn true. This is probably the juiciest momo that I had in the recent times. You stop taking the video, come in here. Who's right about the juiciness? <laughs> oh my god. So you like it? It's really good. How much would you rate it? Well, let me have another bite actually. Alright. Oh, it's so good. I would rate it a solid eight point five. That's good. That's pretty good. destination for momos and that's Kathmandu momos in Somaji Guda. The place was previously near ADP office now they've moved it a little further uh, towards the Katriya Arch but the most important thing that I want to mention here is I have got a takeaway. Why? You have seen it. There's a lot of crowd. I would suggest you guys not to even come down here for a takeaway instead order it through Zomato or Swiggy. Uh, in these times coming down here is nah, 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 not suggestible. That crowd is way too much. So all the gyan aside, let's go ahead, dig in and see how it tastes. We have veg momos as well as chicken momos. I already showed you the prices. They are the cheapest of, uh, I wouldn't say cheapest. Uh, they are the most inexpensive of the lot that we have tried. And I have tried these previously and I really love them. Let's see if the taste still is the same and it matches to the new ones that we've tried today. So these are veg fried momos and these are chicken steamed momos with shezwan sauce over them and also we're going to try them with the ginger sauce that we've got from Himalayan cafe. I can't wait to dig into them and please can you stop recording so that I can start eating. You eat with hand Oh sanitizer right? Yeah, yeah you sanitize. Well, let's try it. You like it? Absolutely. What do you like about it? So this is different. Mm -hmm. This is spicier than the Himalayan cafe. That we Are you did. serious? Yeah, this is spicier. What about the, the one? The sauce that they use, mm -hmm. the Szechuan sauce that they use, is mm -hmm. actually spicier than the chili um, sauce and the ginger sauce that the Himalayan cafe gave us. What about Amas? Um, there. Amas was, you can't really compare because Amas had a different unique flavor. Uh -huh. That was more pickled and it was more tangy. So what did you You're like not recording! So out of the three Momo places that we have tried today, uh, Himalayan Cafe as well as Amas definitely had a crazier versions of Momos. But this place, Kathmandu, has the actual, uh, you know, that Indo-Chinese kind of street Momos that we are used to and which we love. So if you are looking for that flavor, this is the best place. But if you are looking for some different varieties of Momos to try, then you should definitely head out to Himalayan Cafe as well as Amas. When it comes to these momos, when I say that it has got that original Indo-Chinese street style, I am referring to the details that they've got into, like thin skin or thin outer layer of momos and juicier stuffing is what we are used to and it just gives that, the true vibes of a momo, you know, that's what we are looking for and we still feel this is the one that has it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. We thoroughly enjoyed trying out these momos and also shooting this video. If you have any doubts or queries, please feel free to reach out to us in the comment section below or you can ping me on the Instagram handle up there. Until the next video, see ya. But also stay safe, stay home, only step out if needed.
Bye.